So when it comes to the kind of music that I was exposed to as a child, um, in terms of training, my entire childhood and teen years, the training was completely and only Carnatic music. It wasn't until my early 20s and after I had my playback break that I actually began to train in Hindustani classical and Western classical. So till then, the training was completely Carnatic music. But in terms of listening, uh, I think it was very eclectic uh, in terms of exposure. I was listening to a lot of pop and R&B. I was listening to artists like um, Michael Jackson, Madonna, Celine Dion, George Michael. There was a lot of Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston. And um, I loved that music and that was actually what was on a loop in that sense. But I wasn't singing pop and R&B anywhere at all. It was just for the love of listening. I was also exposed to a lot of musicals. I probably have seen the DVD cassette of Sound of Music a hundred times till it snapped. So there was a lot of exposure on that front. Again, stuff that I was listening to, it wasn't like I was singing along or singing that anywhere. When it came to competitions um, in my childhood uh, and even in my teen years, most of the stuff was largely Carnatic. And uh, by the time I'd come to kind of college, uh, especially the first two years, there was a lot of um, film music, especially in Tamil, a lot of A.R. Rahman sir songs, a lot of Raja sir songs. Never did I expect that I would actually be singing for them one day. And of course, because I grew up in Delhi, my entire childhood, the stuff that I've hummed along or sung in places would have been uh, old school Bollywood, which was, I was a big fan of Lata Ji, Asha Ji, Rafi Saab, Kishore Da, and that's the kind of music that I actually grew up on. So I had a fairly eclectic um, uh, upbringing in terms of music but the stuff that I was really singing was um, largely Carnatic and a lot of the Hindi film.